How to reduce stress levels during IVF treatment. One of the reasons infertile patients are very reluctant to go through an IVF cycle is because they have been told it's extremely stressful. IVF treatment is supposed to require many blood tests, lots of painful injections, daily visits to the clinic, and enforced bed rest after the transfer. Patients need to have realistic expectations, but because of information asymmetry and the fact that doctors aren't willing to educate their patients, their ignorance about IVF just adds unnecessarily to their stress levels. Sadly, many doctors will try to optimize the amount of money they generate from their patients, rather than their success rates. They subject their patients to a lot of unnecessary routine tests even before starting the treatment cycle, and this financial burden actually increases the stress levels that IVF patients have to go through even before they start. Also, doctors aren't open or transparent about the treatment protocol, which means everything is done on a very ad hoc basis. And the patient is completely clueless as to what to expect next. Because so many of these IVF clinics operate like assembly lines, with patients handled by junior doctors and assistants, the patient never sees the senior doctor, or even the same doctor twice. Often, this means the treatment plan and advice change from day to day, further adding to the patient's confusion and stress. We take pride in reducing our patients' stress levels by dispensing huge dollops of information therapy on our website at www.drmulpani.com. This reduces the patient's anxiety because they know exactly what's going to happen, and when it's going to happen, so they can plan accordingly. We proactively answer a lot of the questions about the possible risks and complications, so we can get rid of the misconceptions and myths they may have heard about IVF. They are more mentally and physically prepared to start the IVF cycle because they are in control of what is happening. This knowledge reduces their stress levels and anxiety because they have realistic expectations of the treatment and the logistics. This is why we reduce the unnecessary tests patients need to do, and we also cut down on the unnecessary visits they have to make to the clinic. Our patients usually need to visit the clinic only about four to five times during a fresh cycle, with just two to three blood tests. In a frozen cycle, they need to come only once or twice, which makes it much easier for them. For many patients, the most stressful part of the treatment is the enforced bed rest, which many doctors still advise after the embryo transfer, combined with painful intramuscular injections of progesterone daily. During this 2WW, because an idle mind is the devil's workshop, the poor patient keeps on obsessing and worrying about what's happening to the embryo in her uterus, and whether they will get pregnant or not. And when the cycle fails, the patients are even more stressed out, because doctors have not shared any medical details with the patient, which means they are completely clueless about what happened during that IVF cycle, even after it is over. We arm patients with information therapy so they know exactly what to expect during their treatment. We reduce the number of pointless trips patients need to make to the clinic by sharing a customized treatment plan, so they can plan for their treatment. We encourage them to take their injections themselves, which gives them more freedom. We answer their questions by email, so they don't have to physically come into the clinic and meet me in order to get answers. We treat our patients ourselves because we don't hire juniors and because everything is well documented. Patients are a much more confident and comfortable when taking treatment in our clinic, 